and welcome back everyone it appears that everyone is appropriately unmuted and there won't be any echoes this time it's like i'm learning so when we last left off the group was currently waiting outside of the warehouse waiting for the plan to take place, whatever said plan will be. So, what is it that you all do? So we're we're heading to the the hideout. Mm -hmm. Leaving this right. one up to you guys. I don't know. What's Are that? we in front of the door? You are across the street, so you have time to deliberate or do whatever you want to do or plan or. So am I going to try to dominate him? Is that what you guys want? Um, I mean, it depends how many of us you want in there, right? Well, I can't take on nine people by myself, assuming that they're all there and didn't go check out. They may the not be in there. We saw people running around like crazy. I say go in and scoop it out first. Go say you lost cloak. Go in. You and one other just like check out. Uh, can Ron get tonic before we go? Oh, <laughs> what, ha what happened to you guys? Yeah, of course. Here you go. Yeah. Let me roll that for you. Your uh, AOE heal was clutch last time because I was getting hurt pretty bad. It's, it was really good, but now yeah. it is gone. You um, get eight plus your hit points, which would be ten. Ten. Wait. My level. You have ten hit dice. Oh, plus my level. Sorry, nine hit points. You get eight plus your essentially your level. Nice, thank you. Anyone else wants to take a swig before we do this thing? Sure. All right. Oh, sure? Yeah? Yep. Sure. Might as well. There you go. If you're offered. Uh, you, get, you get five plus your hit dice count. Which I think is... I don't know what level everyone is. I'm not the same level as you yet, so... Um, how do I look at my hit dice? Oh, we're nine. I nine. keep forgetting because I haven't so it's been able to do it yet. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's Max Allen. Oh, you're looking so good. That should fix you right up. And I smack Valkan on the shoulder. You know, one of these days you're going to break me doing that. Oh, no, I'm you're stronger than you look. I'm just a fragile little boy. No, you're not. <laughs> I've seen you punch a dragon to death. Mm. Maybe. A dragon, giant elemental beast. What was the other thing you jumped on and punched to death? Something big. Shark. Oh, shark. Yeah. Good times, then. So I'm just going to lay low here because my stealth is not very good. And then if you guys run into trouble, what is signal? Uh, probably Vin will blow something up. Okay, Vin, blow something up if you get into trouble. Well, I need to know, are we going in with the cloak plan, or are we going in with the dominant person plan? Because I, I need to know plan if I need to scope to it out first. Brian or Vince. You should do cloak plan to scope it out. If that fails, dominate. Take one person with you just to scope out. Well, he's not, okay. they're, they're a hard crew. They're not going to come. If if there's people out there, he's like, I'm not with Scratch. Like, it's not going to work. She means the, the, one, the guard at the door. She wants to. Wait. Yeah, I thought you were going to say you left your cloak down there. Yeah. But what if just to swoop I down. look like Scratch? Shh. Who's. Uh, oh, shit. Who is Scratch? Scratch is the person who showed me where the people were. Oh, okay. <laughs> Vin, you're a mastermind. Um, I look like Scratch. <laughs> you look like Scratch. 
Wait, wait, I, uh, I sound like Ron, can you too, look right? like Vin? I think the voice is the same. No, you'd have to do um, like a performance for that. But Valkan has her cloak on. Oh. What are you talking about? About the cloak? She's huh? scratched, then someone needs to be her, and Valkan has her cloak on. Or I could that just she was wearing it earlier. Go in there. I'm saying if you wanted backup, you could take him with you and pretend that he's. Oh. Vinos. Wait, it, wait, it says as an action, you can change your appearance and your voice. Oh, does it? Well, then there yeah. you go. So yeah, I can sound like Scratch too. Uh, so, Perfect. um, do we want, wait, who else can, who else Just can Just think it's up to you if you want to take someone something? with you. No one else can go with you unless they're invisible or unless we put the cloak over Valkan well, and pretend well, that Ron he's can only bit. do it once until we rest. Do we want to take a short rest at the moment? Don't do have time. We need rest? to take advantage of the people being everywhere. Um, what do you think is the best option? I think you go and scope it out, and then we can just beat this guy up and come in. Oh, what if um, you scratch take you in before? Yes. So what? The, what do you mm -hmm. do? Same thing. Like we here to oh, buy. Oh yeah, uh, scratch take all of us in. What if? Yeah, whatever deal you do before, you can pretend we are here yeah. for whatever you did last time. Okay. Um. Well, a, uh, if the ship's on. F Fire! It, they're probably not going to be too keen on doing a drug deal. Don't Wait. talk about it. It's fine. No, nope, don't don't ask questions. But what? they're not going to be. Listen, they're not going to want to do a drug deal while their ship is on fire. So, uh, and he, Scratch said she said that there's no they're not looking for recruits at the moment. So, like, who are you? If you're not part of like they know you're not part of the collective. Well, one thing that uh, the man told us was that there's different levels of communication. Some people know things, other people don't on purpose. So maybe the guard at the door, maybe we're collective people and the guard at the door doesn't have the the knowledge yeah. bracket. Oh, there, you tell them we are VIPs from Aramore. Need to know bases only. Yeah. Do they like air more? L let's just go with that. Y'all are new and not to worry about it. We, I don't know if there are ins or outs with look, If he asks questions, just look at him in eyes and say, are you questioning me? Okay. It will work. All right, let's. Okay. And then plan B, we dominate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Good All right, let's do plan it. Plan C, I start punching things. Problem solved. Plan D, this bitch goes up in flames. Yes. Well, it's already sort of going up on flames. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> All right. So um, I do the knock so at the door um, in the same fashion that scratched it. Gotcha. Make a performance check. Fuck. Dude. Did they see it before? I saw it. She You're did. the only one that saw it. I'm yeah. the only one that saw it. I was going to say we can't assist oh, wait, or can, anything. Uh, can I do advantage? You tell me. <laughs> How are you going to get advantage? <laughs> oh, I have an inspiration. Sure. Okay. Uh, oh, look at us using inspirations. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> Who the <to> thunk? <laughs> oh, wow. My performance is high, too. I didn't think that. Okay. Uh, 17. Why haven't we been using you in every social situation? <laughs> Honestly, heck? I try. Okay, y'all are just like, Vin's gonna light shit on fire if he doesn't know how to, to talk to fair, people. To be fair, your track record <laughs> says we were right. Can't blame that on me. <laughs> I stay in the background every time. <laughs> okay, um, so you get um, pretty damn close. Um, maybe a couple things might have been off on some of the timing. Uh, but you um, knock and the door opens and you see the same kind of big burly guy say, Oi, what you just hear? 
Yeah, I uh, I need to get more ammo. Shit's gone awry. And um, I point over to the boat. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but the boat's on fire. You're like, all right, come on, and unlocks the door and like swings it open. Yes. Um, cool. And then um, I like go upstairs and do the whole like, oh shit. The, the thing that we need in this chest isn't in this chest. I need you to, uh, uh, uh can you unlock downstairs again? I, I think there's more stuff, supplies down there for us. What do you need downstairs? Oh, shit. All right. I forgot we put all the crates down there. Give me, uh, give me just one moment here. And you see him walk behind, um, that staircase. And since you're able to kind of get a little closer, you can see that there's like a hidden lever um, mm. but that, like behind the stairs as he hits it and then the floor sort of springs up a little bit. Uh, you notice there's there's only about three or four people in uh, on this level right now and they're kind of milling about, almost like they're kind of guarding the area. Um, and you make uh, your way down. I nod and I'm like, thanks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, and he op- opens doors like, make it quick, come on. I also nod. Mm-hmm. Um, Are you all then, down there with her, right? That's yep. what I was wondering. I was, that was the you. plan. I didn't know if she's by herself or not, so. Nope, the plan was that she was getting us in. Yeah. All right. I still got the cloak on me, I guess. Yep. And he um, double takes. Yeah. He goes, wait, who the hell are these people? New recruits. I thought we won't get any new recruits. They're like... Old new recruits. Old new recruits. Yes, I don't said. know what Naomi wants. I just listened to her. Jeez. You make know how a, she can be. Make a persuasion check, but we'll give you advantage. With nice. advantage. You're picking up on some clues. Yes. Um, so happy right now. 17 plus 10. Yeah, he's wow, like, wait. <laughs> all right, hurry up. And he looks at all of you, he goes, you know how to fucking use one of these things and pulls out a pistol from his belt. Uh, uh, I pull out the yes. pistol that I have. John pulls one out from his, or he just shows the one on his hip. Take only what you need. Get out of here. And he opens the door and closes it behind you. Um, and he just says, knock whenever you're done. Will do. Um, do, am I aware of like any other like windows or exits or doors? This is like a cellar. One where's the captured people? Do we see them? Yeah, where's like the here. Keeps? Follow me. They're over here. All mm. right. Let's uh, see. One moment, please. I feel a map be loaded. <laughs> no, I'm just um, I'm just hanging out, you know. <laughs> I'm messing things up for myself. <laughs> All right. Um, so you make your way um, in in sort of the same um, area where the left side and the right side, there's a door to each side. Um, I believe you knew where the cell was, so you could just make yeah, your way there. Too. I, I go the same way. Gotcha. You make your way over to um, that cell door. Which is where you are. Um, what is it made out of? Metal. So I put a, a little picture in our chat just to kind of show you. It's like reinforced with metal bands, but there's wood behind it. But it's like a like a metal lattice to reinforce it. There's a large sort of latch, um, with a large or a keyhole meant for like a large like hefty key. Oh. Do I have a spell? I think there was a spell I could have taken that unlocked locked doors, but I knock. <laughs> I went with dominate person. Mm-hmm. Um, I. Oh, Ron can use axe. Yeah, can I do actually an investigation check to see if I can determine if there's any like weak spots in the door? Sure. 
11. Looks pretty solid. Like it was meant to hold people in here. Wait, how do you know people in here? Did you see with uh, your own eyes? I, um, I open up the little, like, door flap and I'm like, see? You peer oh. in and you see a halfling, a gnome, and a human <laughs> inside just sort of huddled. three of them? I have a really good idea. Oh, I have a really good idea. Can you make one of them invisible? Mm -hmm. Make one invisible, we call guard. One of them is escaped. Maybe they're in there and we can't see. And then we get him to open the door and then we just knock him out. Oh, we could just dominate guard to open. Or him. just dominate him. To open okay. uh, cell, yes. I but could first dominate I... him to open him. It's one or the other because like I said, gotcha. sometimes I have small brain and can't concentrate on two things at once. Let's pull him in here, say we can't. One of you hide, hide in corner. Can I, with my perception, can I clock the other people in this warehouse? Are they focused on their own things? Are they kind of looking at us, wondering who we are? You are in the cellar by yourselves currently. Okay. Um, is anyone proficient in like picking locks? Like, no. What would lock that be? Break locks with axe. Lock picking. It's a lock picking toolkit. You thieves would tools. use like thieves tools, which if yeah, y'all use some downtime, you could try and learn a skill. <laughs> Next time. I actually wonder if I have that. You do not. I don't. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, you do not. Oh. I wonder if I like took that from my uh te not tiefling. Uh, what am I again? Changeling. Changeling. Yeah. That'd be something that you would gain either from your class or your background. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I, I went um survival. Mm-hmm. Um Okay, so our options are destroy lock with Ron's axe. Um, Which would be loud. It to be very loud. Make one invisible, or um, dominate the guy to um, come open the door. I mean, either way, we're going to have to break through here because he's going to see us leading them out. So we need to probably deal with him. That's why I say we say, oh, one of them is gone and get him to go in cell. And then we are like surprise attack from behind. Okay, do we want them to hide or go invisible? Can they hide in the cell? Yeah, if they can hide, that'd be better. So we don't waste it's a spell the cell. <laughs> invisible. Uh, Dominate is probably easiest because then he could just open and we leave. But if he fails, then you're screwed then, completely. Then we knock him out and still keep. Get him over here first, then dominate. So be like, hey, mister, look at this. One of them's missing. Doesn't matter if they look like missing or not. Goal is just to get him over here. Okay, I like it. And then um, dominate. Oh, yeah. how about the sick and dying? Because how you go missing in out of jail cell? I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever you think will make him look. You could say, okay. "Hey, there's a bunny rabbit in there." I don't know. Um, I yell to the like, like I think you said to knock on the door when we're ready to come out. Mm -hmm. So I knock, but I step back, like back into the area, and yeah. I'm like, "Hey." Something doesn't seem right. Can you come here? And he opens the door and says, what do you mean something's not right? I don't know. There's, there's something over here. It just, it looks really weird. I'm not really sure what's going on with the prisoners. Wait, shit. We're going to be in so much trouble. Oh my God, the boss is almost know. here. And he stomps in. Boss is almost the, here? Um, is that what he said? He stomps in there. He's like, all right, what the hell's going on here? And then I quickly um, dominate person. Okay. Let's I hope this. Uh, I hope he's not smart. I hope it works too. If, if this he's smart, work. we're fucked. <laughs> I need to make. What am I making? Wisdom save. Um, as, a wisdom save. Yeah. Can I say, as she's coming down with him, I kind of position myself between him and the the doorway that he came from. To kind of block him from leaving, just in case this goes wrong. Okay. Uh, he rolled in 18 plus zero, so 18. So I'm going to use my bend of luck to roll a 1d4 to apply the number rolled and minus that from the 18, because the save Ooh. is an 18. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. Sorcerer, let's go! Okay, so it's 18 minus 2. 
All right, so I think your DC is an 18. It's an 18, yeah. Holy crap, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, so he fails. <sighs> and uh, you have dominated yes. this person. I tell him <laughs> to go unlock the door. Let's see. Let me read. Uh-huh. I think it's just anything that doesn't harm him, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was gotcha. amazing. Okay, he's like, all right, yeah, okay. And opens the, opens the <laughs> keys out um, and opens the lock and opens the door. And you see the three of them inside and he just sort of like holds the keys and just like looks at you. Um, Are they shackled or bound or anything? No, they're just sitting in there. Um, Okay, guys, follow my lead and I want you to be in a single file line and follow us out. Um, I take the keys from the guy and um, I say, okay, I need you to guide us out uh, to the front door. And if anyone asks what we're doing, say that the fire poses a risk and we can't have our- um, Oh, we're moving our, prisoners. Yeah, yeah, th that we're moving them to a safer smart, location smart. so they don't die. All right, yeah, I could, I could do that, I think. And um, so he starts to walk you all back I'm gonna, with... I'm going to walk behind the group to make sure nobody falls behind. Like, it's okay, going to be so them. Okay, so you at the door with the group? As as everybody's We're walking out... We're like in single file line. He's behind I'm going to be the last one. He's going to wait for us. Yeah. yeah. Just to make sure nobody falls behind or anything. Okay. Yep. So you are all uh, single file... Um, out of there and Falcon is currently in the back and uh, the guards walks up to um, open the door um, and he sort of looks up and he's like oh hey boss we're just you know getting them all to safety to make sure that the fire doesn't you know burn them all up and stuff and you hear from the top of the stairs um, a voice is familiar to Falcon and Ron, or should I say to Bron and Brad. Uh-oh. Bron. He's, uh, he's a Goliath. Well, he was known as Bron at this point, and you were known as Brad at that point. Right. He says, what do you think you're doing? You'll put them back where you found them. And he says, well, I'm not I was supposed to take them. Scratch told me. Um, and you see Valshun enter into the cellar um, with a large retinue of people. Uh, um, and you, you see walking over? beside Valshun is the same like hooded halfling known as Naomi. Um, walk into the cellar um, and she walks in and points to two of the people with her. She's like, Open those crates, get them guns out, what we have left anyway. We got work to do. And she looks up and looks at some of the group. And the, the guard's like, well, I was just, um, well, she told me, tell him, tell, tell, tell him. And points to you, um, current, not scratch. Uh, I say, with the explosions, I figured stuff was hot i figured we can move them to a safe location so a they're safe and b people don't come looking in here since when did i pay you to think scratch since when do you pay me at all naomi and like the people around here you know when like they're like give that oh shit look like <laughs> Seems like you forgot who's what? the boss around here. I you haven't should... forgotten. I'm just saying that with Vantis down our necks and having Vantis, uh, like having Vantis prisoners here, we might as well move them to a safer location so that our whole operation isn't blown. Well, what are the rest of you doing? I'm, there I'm in the back of the line and just mm -hmm. kind of 
cover my face with the cloak. Okay. <laughs> I am slowly handing my handgun to one of the Vantis soldiers. The diplomats? Yeah, I'm like, and I'm like, hey, Admiral Dyra Helmholtz sent us. We're trying to get you out of here. I don't know how to use one of these. What do I do? Neither, neither does John. Just aim and point and click the thing. All right. Um, point of order, I'm pretty sure that Ron is proficient in martial weapons. Oh, okay. So, um, basically, the guns, if you have the associated proficiency with a crossbow, so hand crossbow, pistol, light crossbow, arquebus, heavy crossbow, musket, you can use it. Oh, cool beans. Ooh, that means Vin can use a gun. Yeah, guns all around. You all got guns. <laughs> uh, so, one of them sort of takes it and goes, oh, or I'll try to see what I can do. Um, and as this conversation is, is going on, um, Val Shun walks up um, with Naomi and starts talking to this guard and starts to look back at some of you. Who's your friends? And I think you look like Ron right now, right? You're not disguised. He's like Goliath. No, I'm You're Goliath. Goliath right now. Yep. But how long did that last? An hour, I think, right? Yeah, has it been an hour already? Um, it took about 45 minutes to get here as you all oh, were sneaking. Okay. I am totally um, Ron then. So Unless, <laughs> if the hour has passed, it's close. <laughs> like any minute now, he's going to be. Yeah, it's, oh, it's boy. <laughs> Ron's going to try to like hide behind a, a like the door guard or something. Yeah. Just uh, the cover his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so he looks, he looks back, goes. Who are your friends? Scratch. Oh, just uh, some recruits I found in the bar. They said they were new. New recruits in the bar, you say? Interesting choice of words. And he sort of steps like beside you and peers in and currently sees a Goliath, sees Bryn, sees the prisoners out, um, and, and sees the hood down. Uh, <laughs> or hold on, hold on, you know, hiding my face. And he looks back to you and says, something to hide. Come forward, please. Hey. Yes, you. Okay, I'll walk up. Here we go. <laughs> Head down. <laughs> and what is your name? I just look, I just look up at him like real slowly. And then just give him a wry smile. <laughs> he looks at you, he goes, Ah, Brad, you son of a bitch. And he pulls his pistol out. And I need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, shit. That was amazing. <laughs> you were close. You all were very close. <sighs> I shouldn't very have said bad. bar. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you didn't know any better. You didn't know what happened with earlier. I just knew that bad people hung out at the bar and I thought we all could be bad together. <laughs> so TLDR, since you didn't know, and, and spoilers for those of you who haven't seen the bonus episode yet, you know, cover your ears, I'll wave when it's done. Um, so I made a face, I was going to be like, oh man. <laughs> the, okay. the, the shootout that happened in the bar was because of Ron and Falcon. <laughs> So that's why. Just an FYI, this guy pulls pistols out of his butthole constantly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but anyway, okay. Spoiler is over. Uh, so I need to do some initiatives for these people. <laughs> One moment here. Does this? Can we technically get a surprise since I surprised him? No. In this case, like they knew something weird was happening. A surprise would be you jumping out of the shadows, ambushing him, something like that. Um, that's when you would more along the lines to get a surprise round. Okay. It was the situation where like, oh, Scratch is here with random people. Mm, something's weird. You know, if y'all um, conversely, which this is totally still valid too, but if you had like waited like behind the door when he said the boss was going to be here soon and then like ambush them when they came in, that would be more like a surprise type situation. That would have been uh, a good okay. idea. 
Well, we had no uh, idea when they were going to be getting thing. there. So. Right. Yeah, I was just giving you a scenario when that when that would be sort of thing that uh, would be surprising. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. It's more like an ambush. Um. Okay. I'm gonna name this guy something different so you know it's your doorman because he's still technically dominated for a couple more rounds. Yeah, get dominated. Yeah, you can tell him to attack. Yep. And okay, so let's get some initiatives. Um, well, I guess from everybody, you gave one of <laughs> you gave one of the diplomats a gun. Uh, yep. <laughs> you should probably just tell them to hide, though. <laughs> I would think. So okay. Um. Let's see. Roll in PCs. There we go. Clear that up. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of dice. Yeah. Bryn, what's your initiative? 18. 18. And you all should see the map now. Ron. Oh, yeah. 16. 16. Valken. Uh, 20. And. For positioning purposes, aren't I pretty much right in front of Valshu now? Yeah, this is when you were back in the line, so I'll just move you up into the doorway. Okay. And we'll kind of play, uh, there you go. That works. All right, that works. Is yeah. the red Vin. horned person dominated? No. Six. The one, uh, this one, the collective doorman <laughs> is dominated. Valshu's the red guy. Okay, um, we'll start off here and we have the one of the people that were loading up uh, or getting the rest of or what was left of their firearms out of the crates here uh, and they sort of see Valshun uh, draw his gun and they're going to get into uh, some business. They're going to draw a pistol and they're going to make their way over. Let's see here. Shoot at you, Falcon. They're going to roll, and they get a 14, which I believe misses you. Yes. And they are going to run this way and try and take some cover. <laughs> and Falcon, your turn is next. All right. So, as I've revealed my face and I'm smiling and see him draw his pistol I'm gonna immediately uh, get up in his grill and yeah. throw some attacks at him like go for it another chance to beat you down <laughs> let's go <laughs> uh 15 plus 9 to hit. Uh, that hits okay Damage on that is eight. Eight, okay. And I'm gonna spend a key point to try and stun him. Right. Ooh. Of course you are. They rolled uh, uh, not enough. They are stunned. Okay. Good. The red guy. Yeah, Valshun is currently stunned. Valshun, okay. I stunned the red guy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take another strike at him. I roll advantage. Huh? Fourteen plus nine. That hits. Okay, damage on this is uh math math. Mhm. Mm uh. Why can't I math? 12. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 12. It's okay. Uh, Mathing happens to the best of us. All right. And uh, I'll follow up with just a, a normal unarmed attack. Okay. Go for it. All right. It probably misses 8 plus 3. Are you rolling with advantage? Oh, that's right. That's right. Sorry. He's stunned. Yes. 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 Not much better. Uh, 13. Uh, 13 misses. Just so you all are aware on the map, um, there's also a door here. And um, from what 
Vin remembers down in this area is where you got the the illicit substances. So I still have movement, right? And you all do. That. Um, since he's stunned and he can't get a reaction on, me, I'm cannot. actually just what? He cannot get an attack, so you're good. I'm gonna slide on over behind and take some cover behind the wall here because I know there's people with guns on the other side. There's a and, shitload of guns in this room. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna um, real quickly to the prisoners say find some cover somewhere to hide now. Alright. This one goes oh, right, 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 right. And um, he runs right back into the cell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fair. Fair. Um, Bryn. Hi. I am like, it is go time. Uh, I'm going to move forward a little to try and. Uh, it's really weird what I can and can't see. It's dark in here, is why. And there are lanterns mm. lighting up. Mm. It's a skeezy underground criminal organization cellar. I go right there, mm-hmm. I think. Yep. And, and you're I in want, a very tough spot. <laughs> and I want to, I just wanted to be next to Vin. That was my goal. So I'm going to okay. move up and um, attack this guy that was being rude to Valkian. I'll shoot. I, I read Valkian's body language and I knew this was the guy to attack. Mm hmm. Go for it yeah. because I hit him. That, <laughs> that was I the body language. Before, that was that was the body language. Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so nineteen plus. What am I hitting with my javelin? Yeah, twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. Okay, and that's going to be six plus four plus a wound. Sorry, six plus a wound. Gotcha. But I also want to try to now shove him from. Okay, I oh, forgot what shoot. I used. I'm for. so sorry. I forgot oh. to tell you a thing. Okay. I was thinking it in my head. Um, sure. I want to. I wanted to use. Is it a bonus action? Yeah, I wanted to use my frost rune. Mm. So I'll have advantage on ability. Attacks that use strength, which I think is what this is, right? So, does your frost rune require a bonus action to do that? Yeah, so I couldn't shove. You could shove with your second attack if you wanted. Is your fighter I don't, think I, I don't think I can. It's still a bonus action, right? So, you can use your bonus action for your frost rune, and mm-hmm. then extra attack, you get two attacks. One of those attacks could be a shove. Maybe a shove attack? Okay, then I'm going to do that. So, I'll do my second attack is now a shove attack. And I have advantage on my strength ability checks and saving throws, right? So now I can do advantage to shut him to prone. Yep. Now you told me I haven't, I haven't played a rune knight before, so... Um, First time for me! Your, go ahead and make your uh, your shove. Let's see, 14 plus... Is it straight strength or is it athletics? Athletics. It's same, I guess. So, 16. 16. And... Uh, they automatically fail strength or deck saving throws. And it's a saving throw. They're incapacitated, which I don't think they can. You just, I'm pretty sure you just shove him. <laughs> <laughs> Get down. Yeah, I just run up and shove him down on the ground. Yeah, I'm not going to read through it. That makes sense. If he's stunned, how is he going to resist being shoved at this point? So, shoved. There you go. And then that's my turn because that was technically my second yep. attack. Yep. So, uh, I just, I, yeah, I what just look like when you use your frost rune for the first time. Oh, uh, Maybe. yeah. So actually, it's um, people who weren't paying attention would notice that Brynell has like runes etched into several things. So you've seen her use the one that's on her shield before, um, but this one was on her. Mm, right hand, I think, so that when she goes to shove, 
you see the rune like light up. It's like on like a leather wrap, like it's carved into the leather that's like on her wrist and you just see it like glow for a brief second. It's almost like, like it glows when she does the shove and like the magic kind of shoves them even harder. Right. Very nice. Ron. All right. Ron's going to move through the door. Is, is it double going through uh, Brennan and Vin? Yep. It's just going to cost you 20 movement. Okay. Oh. They're both there. And Ron sees uh, Valshun on the floor and he's going to smack him down. All right. Bop him. Roll with advantage. Nice. Time and for revenge. 25. Yeah, that definitely hits him. Take uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. And second attack. Hits him again. I'm going to smite this time. Okay. Are we killing this guy? Is he evil? He's part of the collector. Brynn doesn't know what's going on, so, <laughs> you know. She's just uh, trusting you guys. I'm, I'm trying to math too. Damn it. Uh, eight, uh, 14, 19 damage. 19 damage. She's looking pretty fucked up right now. I don't know. Uh, I have a calculator right here. <laughs> and then as a bonus action, uh, Ron is going to use uh, Divine Harness, uh, Harness Divine Power to, to gain a level 2 spell slot back. Ooh. Very nice. Uh, up Ooh. next is a uh, not the same one that you all told to screw off, but another Arcanist in uh, employ from the collective. And uh, she is going to... Cast or attempt to cast a uh, hold person on Ron. Uh oh. So please make a wisdom saving throw. Got it. Come on, Ron. 20. You succeed. So similarly, you feel it sort of uh, take hold over you and you um, are able to break through and resist the spell. They move over here. Um, the, the doorman looks to you, uh, not Vin, but Scratch, and just um, sort of looks confused. What would you, uh, what would you like him so to do? I telepathically tell them to, um, attack Ni uh, the red man, Valshun. Valshun? Okay. Yeah. Um, so he just kind of looks and like scratches his head as you're talking inside of his brain, which is weird. Uh, <laughs> and he just looks at Val Shun and uh, he just goes, sorry, boss. And good thing he has advantage. <laughs> um, he's going to stab him once. And do six piercing damage to him. And he's going to, uh, actually, it's actually a little more. That's it kills 11. Him. That's 11 more. Um, he does. I'll shoot. It's now dying. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> dying or dead? Uh, he's dying currently. Dying. Um,. As and in then, he is zero hit points. And then um I he he gets a reaction as well. Is it an action and a reaction? Um so he did one attack, he gets two attacks. Oh, he gets two attacks? Mm -hmm. Um I telepathically also tell him to attack Naomi. Alright, he walks up to her and goes, Sorry, boss. The workers um, rebellion. <laughs> But misses Naomi. She just dodges out of the way and just kind of snarls at him. Um, this one, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? And is going to um shoot at Ron. Let's see here. 
one shot and that is a 17 um which i believe misses you ron correct 21 and they are going to reload and take another shot and a natural 20. uh i'm gonna use my shield emblem to negate it to make it normal very nice and let's see you're going to take uh eight damage from this blow what does it look like when you are activating your emblem on your shield to negate your crit uh it just glows um green and kind of like shoots out a like a blinding light and that is their turn they're gonna duck behind some boxes here to grab some cover naomi looks at the uh doorman in front of her and um she stabs him with a rapier uh for a 19. They take five damage currently. And I believe do they make another save when they take damage? Oh uh, each time yep, the target takes do. damage, it makes a new wisdom saving throw. Uh they fail that one. Nice. She's gonna stab him again. No. Um and hits him again. This time they take another four damage. They make another save. And they do save. 19 plus zero. So he's. Wait, he saved, so um, he's not. He does save on that second strike. Um. So would I know that and can I use yeah. Bend of Luck again? You, to... yeah, you can know is your spell. You'll know when it's releasing or not. Okay, um, I'll, I'll attempt Bend of Luck again to um, try to get him back under like my control. Go for it, yeah, um, you'll have your reaction for this round. I'll see. So that's a two minus two. Uh, that brings it down to a 17, so he, uh, he fails. <laughs> <laughs> And um, Naomi just sort of looks at him and just um, shoots him. No, but she gets uh, three moves. <laughs> That's for twenty-five, head. and he takes nine damage. <laughs> He's not looking too hot. He'll make another <laughs> save, um, but he fails again. <laughs> Um, and that's going to be her turn. She's just sort of cursing him. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, Val Shun is dying. Vin! They think I'm Scratch, right? Like, it, like the gig is still, like, there. Uh, they think that you're Scratch right now, but you also brought in a bunch of people that were weird, and then Val Shun tried to shoot one of them, and the other one tried to stab Val, or stab Val Shun. So you look like Scratch, but something's up. <laughs> Um, and then secondary question, all of my actions were the dominate person action, so I don't actually get an action or I do get a turn? No, you, no, you, when you have dominate person, you can just tell them like what you want to do. It doesn't cost, it doesn't use Does your it action. Does cost me anything? No. Um, oh God, do I want to like keep pretending to be, I was going to wait and see if she attacked me or not. Um. In, in these boxes over in the corner, um, are, are is that like gunpowder and stuff? Um, those are just crates with guns in them. Um, also, with Dominate Person, if you choose, you can use your action to basically take the other person's turn for them and make decisions for them. So I can use my turn to continue using that other person? Yeah, so you can use your action to take total and precise control of the target. Until the okay. end of your next turn, the creature takes only the actions you choose and doesn't do anything that you don't allow it to do. Okay, I tell it to attack Naomi again, then. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And 
I believe it'll still be on their turn. Oh, it doesn't just do it on my yeah. turn? Um, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to make a... Yeah. An act, like, I, yeah, I'm just going to use my turn then. Because Go for it. It, if its instructions are to continue to attack Naomi, mm -hmm. then, like, I don't want to waste my. Yeah. Go for it. I think. I think I'm just going to. I think I'm just going to attack her. Go um, for it. And let's do. Um, gosh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to get in trouble. Is there room? <laughs> You don't want to get in trouble. Well, what do you mean you don't want to get in trouble? Listen, I'm. Pl We're I'm, in trouble. I am now friends with Scratch, and I'm not trying to blow this. Okay. I hate to break it to <laughs> I mean, you. Vince is, but not Scratch. Ben. That's true. It's true. That's true. Could be better. Um, <laughs> I was debating if I was gonna fireball her, but <laughs> um, I do won't it. do that. Should I? Okay, I will do that then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah, if that's what you want to well, do, do well, it. What do you would Vin do? like to do? Vin's turn. Vin would like to fireball her, yeah. Okay. Uh, how many people do you want to get? Um, I definitely want to see if I can get the Arcanist in there. Basically, anybody but the person I'm dominating. Like, I'd like to keep him around. You can if, get if... these and then miss this one in the corner, or you can get the dominated one and get all of them. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll get the dominated one. So everybody, okay. When he becomes undominated, he's going to be a problem. Okay, so. so I need to start rolling a shit ton of dice. Um, Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, this one, he's going to roll a dex saving throw and rolls a natural one. So he failed. Yeah. Um, Naomi. Fail, 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 fail. Don't be immune to fire. Fail. Um, <laughs> she passes. Oh wait, I also I have a special ability. So Naomi passes. This one um fails. This one passes. This one passes. So. Your person failed, and um, this one failed. So two fail, and the rest pass. Okay. Whenever I cast <clears throat> a spell that deals fire damage, you can cause flames to wreath you mm -hmm. until the end of your next turn. The flames don't mm -hmm. harm you or your possessions, and they shed bright light out to 30 feet and dim light for an additional 30 feet. While the flames mm -hmm. are present, any creature within five feet of you that hits you with a melee attack takes 1d4. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a little extra tidbit. And yeah. then I'm gonna re-roll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll these dice and when I roll for fire damage, I can re-roll any one dice. Yeah, you sure can. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I need to roll eight. So here's the first five. Let me get a calculator out. We're definitely going to reroll one of these. Let's see here. I'm going to change how that looks. Yeah, calculators abound. Okay, I'm going to quickly just reroll one of these. No worries. Okay, and then I get to roll three more. Mm hmm. God damn it, your dice are fired! <laughs> how much, how much uh, light do you. Uh, give off 30 30 feet of uh I sh they said 30 feet of bright light and then 30 feet of dim light okay so i guess like light 60 feet of light place up. <laughs> <laughs> light them up, up, up uh 26. okay so 26 total damage um this dude's fucking dead <laughs> your doorman uh, is dead uh this right. one okay. who succeeded he was my friend um is oh there are way more people than i imagined and this one failed looking really rough this one succeeded
looking hurt, definitely. Uh, the mage also succeeded. And one thing you notice is that Naomi, she um, passed the check and she looks unharmed. She was able to dodge out of the way. So dodge it out of the reminds, way, what is, uh, does so that mean that she's like It reminds like you of what um, Falcon is able to do whenever he is able to save from something. Um, he mm. can kind of get away unscathed from certain things. Does that mean she's now going to throw a fireball back at me? No, she's got evasion. So if if she makes a dex saving throw and succeeds to take half damage, she takes no damage instead. Fuck. Okay. Um, and then I guess I'll just spend um, a sorcery point to uh, be able to cast a cantrip with quicken spell. Go for it. Um, and I'll cast... Let me just double check how far I am from her. 15 feet. Um, so I'm going to attempt to firebolt her. Okay. Uh, so my first thing is a ranged spell attack. Mm -hmm. Which is 17. It hits. And then 2d10. Spaceship, spaceship. I took the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. Um, 16. Alrighty. 16 damage. Right. That hits her and she just kind of gets singed in the shoulder and just kind of... You bitch. Traitor. Um, I stick my tongue out at her and go... <laughs> um, and then... Uh, do I poof? I don't. No, no, I don't poof to to Vin yet. I wait. Um, <laughs> okay. And then I just yell, "Pay me more!" <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. this diplomat oh. that you gave the gun to, he he's kind of holding it and like he just is shaking and um is gonna try and shoot. Um, <laughs> and he shoots at Naomi and, poof, and he misses, goes over his shoulder and hits the wall behind. And he goes, ah! and just sort of ducks back here. <laughs> Good try, little man. <laughs> and uh, this one runs up to um, to Vin and basically says, you traitor. They're mad at Scratch right now. And is going to uh, shoot you um, once, and that's gonna miss with a ten. And then they're going to try and stab you. Um, but is a... they have to take one d four. They sure fire. do. <clears throat> and the second one's a sixteen. Three. And they you take uh, five damage. And they take three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's their turn. Up next is going to be this diplomat, and uh, she just runs, opens the door, <laughs> just runs some more, and hides. All right. Um, up next is going to be this one, and they are going to run in. And take out the person who cast the big giant ball of fire. Or try to anyway. <laughs> um, and they are going to I'm gonna take that back. Not that one. The movement. Oh well. I promise I know what I'm doing, kind of. They're gonna stay here. And uh they're gonna shoot at you, Vin. And this is a 17. Can I give, oh, shoot. And I was going to give disadvantage, but said the number. Mm -hmm. um, um, can I do something else? Can I do something else? Hold on. This one works. I promise. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hold up my 
I forget where they put the rune. I need to write these down. But I'll mm -hmm. hold up my other arm. Mm -hmm. And I want to do the thing where I misdirect a hit that's going to hit to her on the sun, not on another target. Uh huh. It is my. Who are you going rune. to redirect it to? Onto an enemy. Within 30 feet. Which one? Um. I don't know. I Pick one. can't see things very well. The whole room's lit up. Is it? Yep. Might need to refresh. Because I don't see anybody. Giant fireball. Yeah, can, can I redirect it onto Naomi? Sure. All right, we'll do that. Naomi takes. Oh, now I see her. OK, OK, OK. Yeah, I'm fixed. All right. And she goes, it's like ah. it's like I hold up the rune and like the same rune kind of like is in the air in front of mm -hmm. Vin and it like kind of bounces off it mm -hmm. and it bounces and it hits Naomi and she just like looks over like what's my aiming sorry and then fires again <laughs> um, and this one is an 18 that's going to hit Vin you take Take 13 damage. Wait, I take 13? Yes. I think I should have saved it for that one. I thought the previous one would do. Alrighty. Sorry. Falcon. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna step around here real quick because I can't see anything. And you have one guy next to Ron. Mm -hmm. The person with the hood. Another guy in the corner. And is that mm -hmm. the caster all the way in the back? Yeah. Uh, well. I guess I'll step in the room over top of dying Baoshin and throw a strike at this guy here. Okay. Um, yeah. Go uh, for it. 17? A 17 hits. Okay. Seven damage on that. Seven damage. All right. You drop this one. Okay. They did. And count something out here because I've what would you say from behind the door I've moved five or ten feet yeah okay oh be ten feet um mm. okay I will use the remainder of my movement, which would be 40 feet. That'll get me to that square there. This square. Okay. Now I'm going to confront the caster. I don't know if I'm in range. Am, am I right next to it or to attack yeah. or am I still? You're in uh, you're in melee range. Okay. And I will use my second attack on her. Okay. a problem that's 19 to hit uh let's see that does it and they are going to use a spell one second i got a math now to now too <laughs> <laughs> is the true enemy tonight um and your hit turns into a miss okay as they wave that their arm and you see sort of an arcane barrier um in front of them sort of as you hit and it stops your your strike before you so, can hit them so you let me know if this is uh works i have the mage slayer feet okay and it says when i'm within five feet of 
a creature and they cast a spell, uh -huh. I get a melee attack. So do I get an, an extra melee attack now? They absolutely just cast a spell. Okay. Yeah, Mage Slayer is awesome. Uh, this attack is a dirty 20. Ooh, that actually goes through. Their shield. Nice. Okay. Damage on that is a um nine. Okay. And I think I still have my bonus. Yeah, Unless... so you struck once, they cast shield. And was... Um you use your reaction to take a melee weapon attack. So you still have your other attack action and your bonus action. I used one attack to kill the guy at the door. You're right. Me. You're right. You did. So, so you I have your bonus, have bonus. Thank you. Um, hey, I'm going to spend it, my uh, key point then to uh, use Flurry of Blows. Okay. So that is going to be um, 22 to hit. That hits. Fine. Damage on that is nine. Okay. And second one. Uh, yes, yeah, 16 plus eight. That hits. But that damage is 10. 10, okay. Looking real rough, <laughs> this caster is. And I think uh, I will, I can't move. So yeah, that's, that's my stuff right there. Okay. This diplomat cowers in fear. <laughs> uh, Bryn. All right, I'm going to. How big are the ceilings in here? It's a cellar. It's like no higher than a normal ceiling, if not lower. Nine okay. feet, I think. Can I move through yeah. this down guy? I can't. Right, just step over him. Yeah, I mean he's just, he's basically dead. So I'm gonna move ten, and then I'm gonna bonus action, big brain energy. All right. Yeah. And then I'm going to. Does it look any different when you big brain and energy from your runes versus casting a spell? Yeah, it's definitely different because um, before it was like casting a spell, but this is like almost like it's from within or something. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see like I'm guessing she probably this rune is there's like a rune drawn on her skin somewhere. So probably she'll like you could see it, but I don't know where it is yet. I don't know. Where it is. Okay. And then I want to be. I can't really be next. Oh, that guy's dead. I could be next to Vin, technically. Yeah. I want to kind of yeah be in that big space right there. That anybody that wants to attack Vin or Ron is gonna have to go through me. Oop, like there. Yeah. Okay. And then I want to. Well, if I'm one over, am I? Sorry, it's really hard to tell. If I'm one over, closer to Naomi, am I still close to Vin? Yes. You're still okay. And I just want to stab Naomi with the javelin. All right. Just go for it. That would be probably 16. A 16 hits. Four damage and a wound. All right. And then my second attack. Actually, can I do the same thing? Can I shove her? No. Can I do the grapple action? Yeah, if you'd like. I want to try to grapple her. OK. I think I still have an advantage on this. Yeah, I don't know how long your uh, your rune lasts. Well, it doesn't actually matter because Giant Smite gives me that as well. Yeah. Okay. 18. She rolled a 23 acrobatics. Oh, little jerk. Okay, I'm going to get her. Go to grab her and she just tumbles out of the way. Okay. That's fine. All right. Ron. That's my turn. Ron's going to rush forward. Okay. To at a flank position mm -hmm. in uh, Bryn. And as I'm running, as Ron is running along, he casts uh, Ensnaring Strike. Okay. And his mace starts to 
covered in vines and thorns. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna swing at Naomi. Are you Hopefully. flanking for flavor? Just yeah, just, just flavor. Okay, gotcha. Uh, there's a twenty-five hit. That does hit. All right, she needs to make a strength save of fifteen. Whoa. Uh, she rolls a natural one. Uh, epic. I need to read the spell. <laughs> <laughs> um. She is restrained by magical vines until the spell ends. Um, while restrained of the spell, the target takes 1d6 piercing damage at the start of each of its turns. Gotcha. Um, and then she can make a save again uh, on her next turn to, to be freed. Okay. Is it the end of her next turn? Uh, it doesn't specify. Anything else you'd like to do? Um. Yes, I'm gonna strike again. Oh, I okay. gotta roll damage. Yeah, you'll have to roll damage for that one. Uh. Man, why is math so hard today? Uh, uh, it's 14 damage. <laughs> it's Friday. Okay. It's Friday. Mm -hmm. Math is hard on Fridays. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna attack her again. Mm -hmm. Uh. And a 26 hits. That hits. And I'm going to use a level two spell to smite. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, 21 damage. 21 damage. Okay. And she uses her uncanny dodge. To half it. Oh. So you feel your your mace come down and you smite with with all of your your might and expect this halfling you know uh, rogue type to be just devastated, but almost shrugs some of it off. Just moves out of the way to only get a glancing blow. All right. Anything else? That is all. Okay. And this one, she is going to use spell to misty step. Away from you, Falcon. Does he not get to do Mage Slayer? Oh, I guess he, he already used his reaction. On his turn, yeah. So he's yeah. out of reactions now. Okay. It's going to cast a spell at you, Valken. Uh. Frostbite, I believe. Come on, internet, give me info, please. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, and you take uh, six cold damage. Um, actually, I did that incorrectly. Make a constitution saving throw for me. Do that backward. I promise I can read damage. sometimes. Do what? Like it's a con saving throw. I rolled and didn't need to. I still take damage though. No. 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 Oh. That was a mess up. Um. On save. Okay, I was just reading over made later. I don't get anything special right now. Um. On save is fourteen. Okay. Uh, so you fail, and then you take six cold damage, and the next weapon attack roll you make for the end of your next turn is at disadvantage. Okay. And she is going to 
go here. Jump in there. All right. Um, this one is going to shoot at. Oh, uh, why'd you go small? I don't know. I was trying to pan the map and my the web the, everything freaked out. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Yeah. I moved myself back to where I was supposed to be, but I'm okay. I gotcha. Thank um, you. They're going to shoot at you, uh, Bryn. Okay. And they are going to roll. A 19. Okay. Don't think there's anything I can do. Ready? And you take. Eighteen. Oof. Interesting damage. You notice that several of these uh, collective are much more effective in battle when their allies are helping. All right, Naomi is restrained, right? Yeah, I've, I've so, got her. Well, not grappled. This is a this is Ron. Oh, yeah, sorry. Ron's got her. Ron's got her. That's what I meant. And we've got her. <laughs> oh, she gets to take a D6 thorn damage. Go ahead and roll your D6. Of two. Okay. And restrained just means they can't move and they have um, Advantage, disadvantage. I'm gonna look at your spell real quick just to make sure what they can do. She's gonna use her action to make the strength check again. Okay. Uh, rolls a 16. What's your DC? 15. Okay. So she breaks free um, and is going to use uh, her bonus action to disengage. is going to move there. And Vin. Um I am going to um move one over. Oh, hold on. 5 10 15. I just want to get in front of Bryn so that I'm not going to hit her with um Agnazar Scorcher. Okay. Um, wait, actually, shoot. You're no longer bright anymore. Um, I actually had a different idea. I don't know why I was going with that. I had two ideas. Plan A and Plan B. Alright. <laughs> um, let's go with Plan A. Actually, no, screw it. Let's go with Plan B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Agnes are a scorcher. Okay. Um, but I, I, I just want to move in a way that, um, like, Br Bryn does not get hit. So I guess like I'll go in like in front of her and then like go back yeah. behind her and hide like a baby. So that way they're move, all like, in a line. In there, you can't be in the same space as her. I think yeah. the I think I that wrong. You have light until the end of your next turn, though, right? And you're also about to cast fire anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So you're good. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is a fire spell. Yeah, it's a thirty foot long, five feet wide, flamey flame. Um. That I will cast. All right. You getting these two in front of you? I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. So Naomi and the thief. This one. Uh, fails. This one uh, also fails. Thank God, Jesus. All right, give me something good. Cool, that's good enough. So let me get a calculator. Sixteen. Sixteen. Um, this friend is now dead and 
Aomi takes some damage, but not as much as you'd think if she should have. So again, oh, evasion. No. If she oh, doesn't evasion. save, she takes okay. half. If she saves, she takes none. So. Okay. Um, and is that with all spells or just fire particularly? It's particularly when you have to make a dex saving throw. Dex. Damn you, dex. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Um, and then, yeah, I guess like I couldn't do that because that's a big spell. Okay, never mind. I will move back behind Bryn like okay. a scaredy cat. <laughs> there you go. Um, this diplomat is going to sort of peek around to see what's going on and sees another bad guy and a giant Bryn and just cowers back in the corner. He has Wait, no idea how to reload good this gun and doesn't have any way to reload it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have enough movement to move into this room? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to hide in this room. <laughs> gotcha. The large beacon of light will hide <laughs> in the room. Oh shit, the light is emanating from me, isn't it? <laughs> it's fine. It's we're all, it, the whole, the room is whole, it's all lit. It's, it's, go. we're Gucci, we're Gucci. Um, it's fine. This diplomat says, oh god, they're in here, they're in here, and just runs. Just dash us all the way back into the cell. Oh, <laughs> I guess I got the fin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, up next is Valken. Plan A was changing back. Okay. But I'll do something else instead. <laughs> well, um, the mage ran into the little side room. Eh? Or is that yep. the. Is that just That's the side room, or is that the way eyes? out of the place? Do what? Is that just the side room or is that like the way out of the place? You've never been in that room before. Where did we come in from though? There. Oh, okay. I didn't even see the door. Uh, all right. Um. So what do we got? That guy's dead. That guy's still up in it's the It's time corner. for you to jump on top of somebody and punch them to death. <laughs> um. Well. I have two targets in the same general direction, so I'm gonna lock eyes on. That's Naomi with the hood. Right here, yeah. Finish her. I'm gonna lock eyes on her and with a burst of speed, gonna close the gap. Mm hmm. And uh, throw some hard attacks her way. All right. Roll this disadvantage on the first one. Right. With disadvantage, it's still gonna be pretty decent, but 16. Uh, 16 hits? Ooh. Damage on that. Um, nine. Alrighty. Nine damage. Second attack. Mm hmm. 19 plus nine. That hits. 10 damage on that. 10 damage, okay. And you know what? Let's do another key point. Do flurry of blows. Okay. 16 plus 8. That hits. Doing some good damage right now. 10 damage. Okay. And second one. Um, uh, seven plus eight is that misses. Oh, that misses. Okay. She's she's looking rough at the moment. <clears throat> I'll I'll plant myself right in front of her. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stay within range of her, but I'm gonna slide around right here. Okay. Sounds good. This diplomat is cowering in fear currently. Um, Bryn. Okay. Let's see. We've got... What's Naomi doing? She's cowering? No. No, that guy's cowering. But what's her symbol no, again? No, none of the enemies are cowering. The diplomat is cowering in the cell. 
Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but what's I'm trying to figure out what her sim, what the symbol on her is. I can't remember. She's got her wound. That's right. That's the wound. Uh, okay. I feel like if I deal with her, I'll end of this. So. Sorry, it's lagging really bad. Should be able to get to her. You're I'm standing gonna... on top of Alkin, so. I am? There you go. I moved you. I can't see him. The lights okay. are really messed up in here for me. That's Just... fine. I moved you. You might need to turn off the thing in accelerating in Chrome. I forgot what it's called. Oh, okay. I had issues later, yeah. with it, so it's why I, I okay. use uh, Edge. Um. Either way, I'm going to uh, smack her with his javelin. Okay. Get smacked. <laughs> <laughs> 21. 21 hits. 3 whole damage. Alrighty, 3 damage. Uh, but then I'm going to try and shove her prone. Okay. 19. She rolled in 18 acrobatics. So she's prone. Yeah, and then I'll do my second attack. Go for it. So it'd be with advantage, right? Mm hmm. It's good. I need it. That was a one. Okay, that was a 19. So that's a 24. That hits. Four. Eight damage. And Eight another one. Oh, that's one per turn. Gotcha. Okay. Rough. Then I'm just going to look back to Vin, like, and Ron. Um, well, actually, Valkan's like right next to me. I was gonna be like, "Is she bad? Or are we supposed to kill her? Or, or should we arrest her? I don't know what's happening. I don't know. We're just trying to clear the way out of here. I guess. Okay, that's my turn. <laughs> I'm still just doing what my friends are doing. I don't know what's. Mm. Friends just wants to go back to bed. Because we're Loki, the bad guys. Oh no! Ron. Uh, Ron rushes over to this thief over here and mm -hmm. yells out, uh, Bryn, these are the people who run the town. They're bad people. Oh, okay. I got it. And uh, swinging at this guy. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, is a 14 hit? Hey. Yeah. What are they? 14 does not. How about a uh, 18? 18 does. Right. Uh, I'm going to level one smite him. Go for it. Thanks. Um, woo, 24 damage. You obliterate this dude. <laughs> nice. They were a little hurt before, but they're really hurt now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ron is done. All right. Um, this one moves here and uh, is going to cast a second level magic missile on Bryn. Mm -hmm. I can't dodge those or anything, can I? Uh, you take 15 force damage. She moves back in here. Uh, and you hear Naomi just yell. She's like, kill those fucking hostages. Oh. Naomi's turn. Alrighty. <laughs> stand up is going to there we go user bonus action to disengage and we'll move here and just says where the fuck are they 
Finn. Um, I'm going to transform back to Vin. Uh huh. Um, and then run over here and close the door. Okay. And then when you come over here, um, as you sort of you have to get next to the door and you go to close it and you see both of them in that room. Okay. Yeah, I close the door. Um, and then I tell him. Like, hey, I'm with the good guys. We're here to save you. Go into the cell. Because I grabbed the keys off of the doorman. Mm -hmm. um, so I tell him to go into the cell. Um, and say that... Uh, and, and, and I say that they're trying to kill you, but I'll protect you. Don't worry. Okay. Um, so. Anything else you'd like to do? Um... Closing the door is is your item interaction, so that doesn't cost you anything for this. I would like to, if possible, once the diplomat is through the, the cell door, to close it and lock it. I don't... Mm, is that allowed? I don't know if you have enough movement for uh, that. Oh, yeah. Um, I... Then... Will I have nothing to do then because, like, I'm not opening this door. Like, I want to make sure this door doesn't open. Can I like, like, move something in front of it or like, like, I just want my prerogative is so that they don't get through the door. Yeah. Um. um if you wanted to move, um, well, you don't have any movement left. You moved, I think, thirty to get down here. So. Could I move something else, like a mad, like? Can I, uh, I don't know. So like there's how... barrels and stuff stacked over here, but you don't have the movement to go grab them and then drag them over. So anything kind of around you isn't enough to like stop the door from um, mm. opening, unless you just wanted to use your body and try and body block it. Sure. Okay. Um, is, and what's the door made out of? It's just a this... normal wooden door. Normal, oh, it's a wooden door. Okay. Yeah, the reinforced ones are like here. Uh, where you got the drugs and where the prisoners were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna like block it as much as possible. And then I yell for like help, I suppose, from my friends. Gotcha. You just yell help? <laughs> well, I just say someone come in here, help me. Help me guard this door. <laughs> However much more verbiage you'll allow me to gotcha. say. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, that's totally <laughs> fine. Uh, this guy is gonna run his ass in here like you told him to do, and he's just gonna shut the door on the way in. <laughs> um, they are hiding currently. Valken. Okay, so Naomi and the mage are now in this room down here. You think so? Down. Well, I mean, I saw them. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I'm going to. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna slide on down and I'm gonna peek in. I see them now. Surprise! <laughs> okay. Interesting, interesting. Whenever you do you know peek what? in, her, um, her rated action does go off. So she'll take a shot, one shot at you. Say again? When you peek in there, her ready to action goes off. So she takes one shot at you. Oh, okay. Um, which is a 17, which okay. hits you. But and which is a total of five damage, which <laughs> yeah. If you'd like uh, to, you could not, and you could you could do your thing. Up to you. Yeah, I will definitely do the deflect missile on them. Gotcha. I have to roll. I mean, no? it's, I mean it's she just... did four damage, and yours is D10 plus 13, so right, you okay. can't fail. If you want to roll, sure, but. <laughs> uh, you know what? Just to be, just to. 
I don't know, make it me seem a little bit more intimidating, even though I've been swatting shots away. I'm actually going to spin a, a key point to catch this one. Okay. I'm just going to catch the shot. Uh -huh. <sighs> Do it. All and right. throw it back. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So let me look through catch here. Catch the ball and be like, damn it, this is getting annoying. Ugh. And throw it back in there. <laughs> And you spend a key point to make a ranged attack as with a monk weapon with a range of 20 and 60. So go ahead and roll your d20 plus dex plus 20. proficiency. d20 plus dex proficiency. Yeah, so d20 plus 8. Okay. Um, 7 plus 8. Um, 7 plus 8. Does not hit her. Okay, that's fine. It it was more for like a just to out of frustration, just to throw the thing back at her, whether it missed or not doesn't matter. Yeah. So you peek your head and she takes a shot and you move and catch this bullet and throw it back at her, um, but she's already ducked behind the wall and you're not able to hit her. Okay. Um, now wait for your, your turn. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna quickly. Uh, um, turn to Brynn and be like they're both in here I'm going in and then I'm just okay. gonna run forward uh, and attack go for uh, it uh, 17 plus 8 plus 8 that's uh, probably gonna miss it's only 14 that misses uh huh you hear a voice in your, say, in your head say stop playing with them and kill them uh, this is a game. I'm not having any fun. Um, <laughs> okay, 19 plus 8. That hits. Roll your damage. Uh, 8 plus 5 for damage. 13? Yes. Describe to me how you kill Naomi. Yes. You know what? Yeah. I mean, up to this point, I've been laying people out. So, um, I, I've caught the caught the bullet, threw it at her, and she ducked out of the way, and I just stepped in, and with a just a really, I, do, I miss an attack. So, I make one slash. She ducks under it, being a tiny child, and then I essentially just grab her, throw her against the wall, and then just stab. <laughs> All right. Making room for me to potentially move forward to the mage now. Yeah, so you stab um, her and just kind of run her through against the wall, and she just, like, just looks at you and just stares like daggers through you until the light fades from her eyes, and then you turn um, to the mage, um, <laughs> who sees the her boss um, dead before her is dropped her arcane focus okay um what are you waiting for do it do I have to make some sort of save if I don't uh, listen uh, no not currently okay so I step forward and I'm gonna Flip the sword around and use the handle. Wait, I don't have another. I just have unarmed attacks now, I think, as a bonus. Yep. Yeah. I just walk up and be like, sorry. It's time to go to sleep. I'm just gonna, if I can, I don't know if I can knock her out. Probably not. I'm probably just yeah, gonna beat her up, but like. You sure can. I, I throw uh, just an unarmed attack. Mm hmm. Uh, 14 plus 8. That hits. She's a caster. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Damage on that is 8. Uh, exactly what you needed. You knock her out. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it works out. I don't have to just sit there and punch her in the face and have her look at me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. 
So. That's what? it. I don't see any more threats around me. Uh, you are all currently out of initiative now. You don't <sighs> see any other threats in this cellar. Um, notably, Valken, you do see a door straight across from you to another room. Um, other than that, quiet. I change to Brian just in case the real um, scratch comes at any minute, and okay. I get I go to the prisoners, and I'm like, okay, the coast is clear, and I unlock yeah. the door, and, or like I, I I get them out. Alrighty. Yeah, you get them out and they are safe and sound and they all will follow you um, can, wherever you'd like to go. Can I can we search, leave? check on yeah. Valshun to see if he's alive or not? Uh, he's bled out now. Ah, then he will pick some pockets. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I want to loot. Uh, I'll just search for anything of value from the uh, two or from yeah, the one. will detect magic. Gotcha. We'll do investigation, I guess. Um, so the detect magic doesn't um, show anything particularly magical in this area. Um, there's a shitload of uh, Ram Crown gu guns if you want them. Um, with all of the um, collective here, um, Val Shun had about um, a thousand gold pieces on him total. Mm. Um, this one, the then, gambling uh, thing. Mm hmm. He's holding his money because he didn't get a chance to do anything yet because shit kind of he didn't get a chance to put it away. Um, Naomi um, is traveling pretty light. She just got her uh, handgun and uh, her rapier, none of I, which are magical. Is there any. I guess what I was searching for is less interested in. Like uh, coinage and more. Does she have any documents or orders or anything on her? In no. Information? Nothing? Okay. She's not. Um, Bryn, you were investigating. What was your investigation role? Um, 19. 19. Um, as you're looking around, you see just sort of. Um, a lot of these crates and sort of barrels are just like smuggled like linens and others could be um, like trade goods um, and as you're sort of looking around it's a lot of just things that are valuable to move in large quantities um, and then you also notice that the locked door in the bottom uh, on the map there which um, Vin if you're looking for loot you know that there's stuff in there for sure okay yeah I rolled a 18 um, so I guess, uh, we open the door. I have the keys. Yeah. The door is locked, but you have keys to unlock it. And she took them from your nice friend that you dominated. Yeah. Um, and as you enter the, in, in there, there's some more goods. There's this, the chest, which you had looked in, um, earlier, um, where you got your tide creeper. Uh, and there is probably about... Um, 2,000 gold worth of illicit substances of various kinds. I <laughs> take it. Yeah, so Is you this, got a small uh, chest of uh, illegal, illegal goods, pretty much. But where is this? Um, it's down here. I'm not using the map at this moment, so um, we're just... Oh, just it was the, the door that I saw? Do mm -hmm. any of oh, okay. these... Sub do any of these substances provide buffs? Um, like I mean, if you just or... want to start popping things in your mouth, we can find out what happens, but... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but, um... It's like a solo Vin's wild adventure. <laughs> yeah, you also find, um, an additional, of uh, just 500 gold in here as well. In that chest where they were doing some dealings. I take 150 of it and be like, this is mine. Okay. <laughs> and put it back into my inventory. Uh -huh. And then tell everyone that there's 350 gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it. Okay. Um, it's mine. <laughs> anyone else interested in taking 
anything else of value i think the most things are going to be down here are the firearms so everybody in there is dead goods. except for the girl that i knocked out or is there another knockout yeah, she's person? knocked out everyone else is dead okay um can i uh pick that person up and carry them out sure um yeah ron will pack as many guns and bullets and gunpowder as you can in a little, little backpack Gotcha. I would like a gun and some gunpowder and bullets as well. Gotcha. Yeah, and we'll get you I a list I'm of, of well. uh, firearms. Yeah, um, later on to let you know exactly what you found. Yeah, what their potential worth might be. Look, I'm short on spells right now. I could use some guns. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing guns. of note: yeah. guns. you don't have to retrieve guns. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Yeah. Uh, one thing of note as well those the chest of uh, illicit goods that you've got while well, worth a lot you're just gonna have to find someone to buy them because you know oh that i can't some of just like things, bring it to our turtle friend oh, okay. uh <laughs> you're gonna have mm. to find someone who's willing to buy that much product you know people in I uh find we headed people. to aramore remember what's his face musician guy i feel like that's ice scarf oh, yeah. aramore is where bickwin lives ice scarf is the where risa is yes in the bard. sorry i was just going with the a confused but we uh -huh. can find someone there listen okay. vin is naughty you can be naughty we have proved that <laughs> so we can find i'm just letting I you know just... you just can't turn it into a shop you'll have to hunt around to gotcha. find someone to gotcha. buy your drugs it's fine <laughs> sweet justice look part of the not doing drugs is taking the drugs and getting rid of them we're getting them <laughs> off the streets Don't do yeah yeah donuts Vin wants we're going to sell money. them and then we're going to take that money and buy donuts instead. Hello. We're going to buy tattoos. <laughs> As Ron doesn't know this, he's not, he's not in the room. So he doesn't know there's... Why is this magical? <laughs> what, you, what were you saying? Sorry. Oh, well, Ron doesn't know about the drugs. He's not in the room, but... Yeah. I don't think he would know what drugs look like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so you all are heading out. Balkan has carried out the Arcanus and you've made your way up through the warehouse. Um, you, you believe that the people that were upstairs were brought downstairs in the group of people. Um, so currently there is no one here. Um, you still hear yelling and shouting, people trying to figure out what's going on uh, a little ways down the docks. Uh, what is you all's next move? Uh we're upstairs. Is it still a warehouse or is this like a the warehouse? Okay. I want to drop this person off somewhere like relatively safe and not around a bunch of dead bodies. <laughs> so, ah, uh, you're just going to I just um, wanted to get them out of the room. Take this Arcanist and just drop them off at the nearest um just building <laughs> on the porch or something or <laughs> Yeah, somewhere away from danger. Like a park bench. <laughs> yeah, you just set her down on a on a bench, and uh, and she's out cold currently. Guys, we should go back through the alleyways and meet up with Alias. Damn. Oh, Daly. Captain Alias. Dalius. Yes, he's uh, oh, at the ship. Oh, okay. Yes, we should. Um, sneak yes, the sneaky alleyways. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The docks. Yes. And get the get the hell out of here. You know what okay. I mean. Wait, should we go to the front of the town and give these folk back to Vantis? I mean, they can do that themselves. Hey, tell them they did uh, Sweet Justice sent you. What if they'll give us money? I just feel like they would have already offered the money if that was on the table, I you know what like I mean? I feel like it was on the table, we just they didn't were talk about pay it. Us for something. Okay, we I, do this um, first. We can make sure that the Admiral knows that you all. Uh, helped us here and send payment um, to Sweet Justice uh, via Guild of Iberis. No, they're, they're, it's just gonna pay our dues. No, no, I need we the need money. To pay our dues. We, we need to pay it, our dues. Not if we go back. If we never go back, we never have to pay. Wait, has this been your plan all along, Vin? Yes. Just hop from town to town taking jobs. We don't so need them. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> we don't need them. We need a tattoo. But, um, We can. Well, we can mail it there, or... Oh, mail yes, it will work to... just fine, and I'm gonna be like, we gotta go! Mail it to Risa at Ice uh, Garden. Yeah, yeah, there we she go. The library. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But tell her it's money. for us, because she's gonna spend it on stupid oh, books. Wait, Ron will tell Risa. She doesn't Risa. spend it, she keeps it all in, like, a jar, remember? 
Um, I well, don't know. I'll have he to needs get to know it's our word mind. from the Admiral, and we'll have to send someone to... Um, how long will you be there? As long as it takes. We're going to be there for a while, and we'll wait for it. All right. Um, well, uh, and we'll if not, I know now. who you are. Right. Can these All people right. even get to safety right now? It's just pandemonium here, and just... There's, like, things happening at the docks, and they're going the opposite direction, so they might be able to get out. Oh, put on robes we can or escort rags them if you just want. cover. I, th- I say we escort them to the front of Last Chance. Well, there's no rush money. now. We killed the boss of Collective and uh, other Do lieutenants. Do we know I that? Think it's a, I oh, think you guys might know. Yeah, I know that. Naomi. Bigger operation than just them. But, yeah. We should get the money. Okay. Okay, let's go get the money. Yeah. Yes. Um. Also, you all would know, just so it's not like an issue if you don't want it to be, they're not going to earmark like your mail and like take money out of it. They're not going to open your mail or anything. So if you're not like, you don't have to worry about your guild like taking that from you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know. So we could have, they we would like open it and be there. like, well, yeah. they owe money anyways. Well, maybe we should speak to Admiral since uh, now is a good. That's true. If, you, if we chance. think we can get there safely, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now is a good also chance waiting for them on to you. Come. Where, like, do we know? Yeah, what side? I'm worried about that. So, what's y'all? Let's okay. put everything on the table. Okay, we go. We could go Delia. Then let's go. Let's go to Delia. The money. We'll okay, the fine. Money later. Send the money. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right, where Send the we, money. Why are we sending? Uh, the guild. It is, uh, no, no, no. Order of Ibarra. It's safer. It's safest. Risa, she is at Icegard. Why? Because we're going to Icegard anyways. That is where we're going. Oh, so we'll get the money faster. She's at the, um, what is it? The library. Uh, the library. A library. And then do ATTN, attention, sweet justice. But. What? She can write letters. But it, it can be sent to Risa, but with attention, sweet justice. So Risa knows not to open it. Right. Okay. You got all that? Right. I think so. Good. I'll send it somewhere that you have said in this conversation. And then I dig in my bosoms and I hand him a business card. And yeah, we have business I'm, cards. That's yeah. Canon. I'm like, if you ever need something, I mean, we saved your life, so. Thank and then you I like, very much. I flick it to them. I, and they just like hit someone like. Because we like run off. I don't know where <laughs> yeah. that's been by, and they they take off down the street. <laughs> Those poor people. Okay. So yeah, I hear. You head over down further into the docks. And where all the actions happening, right? You desperately, as you're sort of moving through, you desperately see people trying to put out this fire on the ship, and it is just like fruitless at this moment. This ship is starting what to sink, and it is just a, a heap of just burning wood and just flames. Uh, and you How make did you guys do this? Oh no, this is Braun and Brad's situation. I know it is you. What did you do? <laughs> so Braun and Brad did a um, made a bonfire, I guess. Did you just say a Ron fire? No, I but that I works too. <laughs> <laughs> a Braun fire? A Braun fire. They were going to use uh, firearms and cannons and to to uh, attack Vantis army. Yes, but. That's uh, over and done with now. Let's keep moving. Yeah, let's keep let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I think we're looking for Delius's ship. Yep. I can, can you... signal him. I think. Uh, I can do. Oh, we remember what the gold raker looks like, right? Mm-hmm. You've been on the ship before, so if you'd like to, if you can easily find it. <laughs> okay, we find it and we board. Yeah, so you board and he goes, You were ready, what took you so long? Oh, we had to kill uh, uh, Naomi and uh, Bashun. Our primary objective was saving people. Oh. We had to, to rescue clear. captives. Yes. We didn't They're go in there to just to murder. Oh, oh yes. I understand <laughs> the things that you do and why you do them. I just want you to know this is going to cost double. All right. Okay, understood. Hazard we pay. get us out of here. Right. 
and they start to set sail they were ready to go and as soon as you hop on they just start shoving off and okay. then uh heading to your destination of Iscarth. yeah but on the way vin you should start bargaining to see if we can trade like anything besides money for payment wait oh f- like for the yeah, we gotta pay them, and I'm saying use those skills. I've got drugs. We got this whole trip. <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll take all our illicit goods. Who knows? I did want to sell that for tattoo money, though. Yeah, but you're gonna be paying them otherwise, so. That's true. You. I have like a trench coat. I'm like wanting drugs. <laughs> it's in a chest, like. <laughs> she has a I, trench I coat that she in... lays over the chest, and then she pulls the trench coat up off the chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what advice and drugs? Back. I mean, under donuts. my breath, I say I'm gonna miss Scratch. Oh, you guys had a nice friend. date, dude. You and my friend. Knowing Max, that will come up again to bite you in the butt. Will it? I'll be there. Scratch doesn't have any uh, co Two timer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did the one guy survive too? The one that was under domination. No, no, he died. No, he, got oh, no, he died like first. Fireball. Oh, he was in the fireball. Oh, okay. Because yeah. he was gonna come back, like it was like one or two turns later, like he was gonna be against us. So I figured, huh. might as well put him out of his misery. Too. Oh yeah. Well, no, he's dead, so it's fine. <laughs> All right, and uh, that is where we're going to end our episode for the Hi, evening. Guys. So we can discuss costs with Dalius later on. We can figure out what you wanted to do and where you're going to go. Um, but that's an end for tonight. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, you're finally going to be out of the north and back to uh, civilization Whew. where it's not super cold yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and downtime, so, maybe. Right? We're going to yeah, have a little. If you want to do some downtime, you a little R&R. And we can discuss yeah. some of that stuff. So a little drug dealing. <laughs> you guys want to see what our characters do on their downtime? Yep. Just oh, uh, we'll talk about that no later. Promises that it's uh, exciting. Tires. A lot of yeah, napping. Yeah, thieves tools. A lot of napping. Thieves tools. Somebody Bin. learn thieves tools. Um, Bin's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, anyway, carousing is a thing. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it, and thanks so much for all the generous um, donations. Uh, last time on our stream yes, to thank help you so much do the buddy episode which was amazing um both of these will be out in the normal scheduled times so i've got some editing to do this weekend um but also uh i realized i hadn't mentioned it because so much has happened um with the stream with my life but uh jerry you were still the top donator so you will be getting oh, your merch package and your um map as well which i think i could show like if if you want me to show it real quick yeah, can you go get it? Yeah, it's not. Oh, yeah, hold on. Final. We're fixing a few minor details, but it's pretty close. Oh, we. I think it, I think we should show up to get some hype going. Ooh, wow! Nice. Ooh. Look at that. Fancy. Man. It's fancy. That glass. Wow, we. Yeah, it's a. It comes. You can order a framed ver- or version, or we've got to order a framed version to test it. Wow, we. So. so it'll look like that, but slightly better placed within the frame so we're working i want one of those yeah so (laughs) you will get the uh map which was for the top donator as well as some other merch so super excited i'm very happy with how it turned out with bun's amazing art with us so we can get get all the details figured out we'll let you know um but that being said let's do some quick shout outs and then do some uh mvp polling so let's see here who was the mvp I am like all over the place. I am so sorry. All right. And first for our uh, shout outs, we will start with Moobs Like Jagger from the GG and Crew. Oh, hi. How you doing? Moobs here from GG and Crew. Uh, one of four dudes. Uh, I play a lot of tactics games, RPGs, stuff like that. Uh, and I stream on Tuesdays. Uh, so come on by if you want to. I'm f- wrapping up. Uh, I think I'm wrapping up Triangle Strategy. I don't know. The game is awesome. So yeah, come on by. Thank you, sir. Uh, up next, Bunny Dreadful. 
Hi, um, I'm Bunny Dreadful. I'm an art streamer. If you like any of the art that you see here on this stream, the character art, the map art that you just saw, all that stuff, that's me. And I do that on stream, usually on Tuesdays. Things have been a little crazy lately because of some crazy real life stuff. But um, follow me on Twitter and Discord to get uh, updates for when I'll be streaming next. All Thanks. Right. Next up, mac and cheese, please. Um, I'm back from my vacation, so um, I'm back to streaming. Uh, we'll be playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on Sunday at 11:30 a.m. Pacific, and then we've been we just started Tunic. So if you're into um, Tunic, <laughs> uh, join <laughs> us um, this week for for Tunic <laughs> at twitch.tv slash mac and cheese, please. There you go. And uh, <laughs> last but not least, Virtual Spectre. That's me. Uh, I am a variety of content creator here on Twitch as well. And uh, I'm trying to finish up some Elden Ring. We're going to do a long day of Final Fantasy XIV tomorrow, though, because I got some catching up to do on some things. So I'm looking forward to it. And going forward, I got, you know, near replicant on the list of games to play, a bunch of other stuff. So. It's jam packed and uh, follow me on any one of those links that you see and come on by. Alrighty. Thanks, everybody. Um, the MVP is Ron. Oh. Please gain an inspiration, Ooh. sir. Um, I am Maximus. This is my channel, and this is what I do, and I like DD. Um, and I hope you like it too. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. I really appreciate you all supporting this show. And uh, we will see you all, I think, next week. I think we're good for next week. Maybe I should check this earlier. Yeah, we're good for next should week. be good. We'll see you next week. Um, and then we can see what the heck they're going to do now. Avoid their guild dues? Who knows? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> all right. See you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.